scared of New York, man. I haven't been in New York since my dad died. They had chives and cream cheese, but they just gave me regular cream cheese. It's all good though. It's delicious still. Say it louder for the bitches in the back. Gotta go for the bitches. <laughs> Gotta go for the bitches. Oh, oh I dropped my collagen pill. I need to put this somewhere. Drinking beer, the water. Wow. Yo, this is nice. It's it's giving me growth. It's giving me live your best life. That's what it's giving me. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I know I keep saying the same thing every time, but it really, it really is. It's crazy, guys. Like, I'm so happy. I had a 
had a connecting flight from Spain to New York to Atlanta. I was supposed to go home to Atlanta, but I was at JFK and I was like, nah. God said, nah, you, you kick it in with Young Jew in New York. While Young Jew leaves tomorrow to his trip to Colorado, I'll be house sitting, plant sitting, and romanticizing my life as if I live in New York. I mean, hey, I might, I might just manifest it. How do I go from living in Atlanta to moving to California? And now moving to New York? And then I could say that I've lived in two of the most popular cities that everyone wants to live in. And then I'll run me a New York man and say, yeah, I, I had a boyfriend in every city, every every state. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. I'm scared of New York, man. I thought I was aggressive and blunt, man. I can only imagine what New York men are like. I haven't been in New York since my dad died, so I'm creating new memories. This train is so loud. I'm creating new memories, new energy, new vibes. I like how I was complaining about my nose running. And the whole time I had a tissue in my pocket. See, this is why I carry tissue with me. People always make fun of me. Chrissy, why do you hoard tissue tissue and Kleenexes with you all the time? Because the moment's like this. See, he got tissue in his pocket too. I know a couple people that used to roast me for always carrying tissue on me. That's smart. But, like, catch up. Exactly. Wow. It's like Palm City Market. But better. This is fire. This is fire. Flames. Yo, the hot honey and the homemade pickles. Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, the biscuit. Girl, the biscuit. The biscuit is moist. It's not like Popeyes. This is moist. And the house made pickles. Fire. Fire. What would you rate this? Flavor and then like how unique the, the, the dish is. Honestly, I would, a 10. Because the chicken is not dry, it's perfectly crispy, the sauce is hidden, it's actually spicy. Because some places be like, oh yeah, it's hot. But it's really not hot. It's like a yeah, the flavor is fire. They have to put seasoning not just pepper flakes. I don't even know what this place is called. What is it called? Jacob's Pickle in Time Out Market. <laughs> oh shit, oh it's a heavy ass rock. Don't <laughs> you want to have a heavy ass rock on your table?